Hello everyone and welcome to Mobile Farm NG. In this video, we'll be listing the apps you can give to your rabbit and their usefulness. This is a very important video for you to take your rabbit farming into the next level. And if this is your first time on this channel, I will urge you to subscribe to this channel and press the notification icon so you can get notified anytime we drop a new video. Good day viewers, welcome back to the channel. This is Crystal Animal Farms, Abelkuta, Ogo State, Nigeria. I am Michael Adetule. Today, we are going to share herbs of medicinal importance to the rabbits, to you today. Firstly, let's talk about the purple leaf. Look at this purple, though this is a dwarf variety that we planted here. The leaves of purple serve as the warmer. You can use the leaves of purple to deworm your rabbits. It can be once in a week, it can be twice in a week. A mature, full mature rabbit, one full hand leaf like this is enough for one mature rabbit. So you can use purple leaf to deworm rabbits. Another part of the purple that you can also use to deworm your rabbit is the purple fruit. Although this, these are two, they are still small, matured unripe purple fruit. You can use it, cut it in bit. For your rabbit, it will also work for them. The seed inside this purple, either ripe or unripe, the seed, it can be dried and turned into powder and add in their feed or in their water as dewormer. Apart from deworming, it can also give some certain level of micronutrients. That's some minerals and vitamins. It can give it to your rabbit for more vitality. The second herbs, that we also mention is bitter leaf. This is a plant of bitter leaf and it is used mostly as antibiotics. Antibiotics, that is, it can be used to clear germs in your rabbit. If your rabbit is poo in watery poo, I would advise that you should not use fresh bitter leaf for that rabbit. Use a dried bitter leaf. You can hair dry it in a shade so that the medicinal ingredients will not be destroyed by sun heat so you can fetch it fresh you dry it in a shade until it is well dried squeeze it into a semi powder form and store it in a container in an airtight container anytime that your rabbit is purging or they are putting watery pool you can just add like five gram in their feed and they, so provided the rabbit is still eating just add add five grams of this powdered dried bitter leaf in their feed then it will solve the issue if the, the rabbit is not pooing watery poo or is not having diarrhea you can use fresh bitter leaf once in a while for a general antibiotic cleanup for a general cleanup of jams you can just give the rabbit fetch it for them once in a week fresh it will serve as antibiotics another important use of this bitter leaf that I also use on my farm here is I use it to burn fat. If your rabbit is too obese, you have overfed the rabbit, the, the rabbits are too big or too obese, you can use it, fetch it either fresh or the dried type that I mentioned earlier, fetch it, feed it to your rabbit for three consecutive days it will burn the fat. If the fat is much, three consecutive days. If the fat is not much, one day is okay or two days. But if it is something you want to be using to regulate as you are feeding fresh to your rabbit for general antibiotics use once in a week, it will also serve that purpose of maintaining the weight of your breeding stock. You don't need to burn fat in grow out rabbits for meat purpose. But in your breeding stock, you don't want fat to disturb their breeding process. You don't want fat to keep, to make the mother to be lazy to breastfeed or to nurse her babies. So you can use this to regulate their weight on a weekly basis. This is for bitter leaves. So another type of plant that we also mentioned is saint leaf. Saint leaf bacillus, they, we have different types of bacillus or saint leaves. Anyone you can get yourself with, this is a type that we have here. It, in fact, it is planted in a bucket. So you can fetch it in bunchy size, something like this, in a bunchy size like this. It's enough for one rabbit. It also helps as antibiotics and it helps digestive system. It controls the gut 
bacteria. The rabbit will not undergo enteritis, that is diarrhea and some other gastrointestinal disturbances. So we just only use this once in a while. Another type of herbs that we also use in our rabbit system is aloe vera. The size of this type of aloe vera is enough for one mature rabbit because aloe vera contains plenty of water, you can see. It's already dripping water. You cannot afford to feed too much of it to rabbits. It will disturb their digestive system and make them to pull, to stew to death or to stew uncontrollably. So you only give little as this for a very big rabbit or as this to a grower rabbit. This, what is this used for? This serve as a supplement during dry season, you know, in this part of the, the world. We are in Nigeria, that's tropical Africa region. We presently now we are in dry season. In during dry season, there's limitation to forages and grass that will serve as supplements for source of minerals and vitamins. So we give this once in a while, like twice in a week, to also add a source of minerals and vitamin. It also helps to control their gut bacteria. That's for aloe vera. Another herb that I want to mention is, this is bryophyllum. It is some people call it plant of life. Because if, you, if I cut this leaf now and put it in a on the soil and water it, it will germinate, it will grow new plants. Any part of this plant is useful. For human use, it controls blood pressure. So, but we use it for our animals once in a while. It reduces pain in animals. And then I want to add, aloe vera should not be fed to mature male rabbit, it sterilizes the male. It temporarily sterilizes the male. If you feed aloe vera twice consecutively or within a period of one week to mature fertile male, that male will undergo sterility. And it will take another three months for that male to recover from the day you stop the aloe vera feeding. So it is only, we only use it for females. We only use it for female. Thanks for watching this video to the end. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, I will urge you to subscribe to this channel and press the bell notification icon so you can get notified anytime we drop a new video. Do well to like, share, and follow us for more content. Thank you.